Hello, hello, what is going on guys? My name is Raman back again from Raman Reviews here with another episode reaction to one of my favorite series that is continuing to go on more and more, Kaguya-sama Love is War, season three, episode one. Miko Ina wants to be soothed, Kaguya doesn't realize, Chika Fujiwara wants to battle. This show is an oddity. It is unique. Very rarely will you ever get a time where a show is so popular that it gets a third season. That's already pretty rare. Not many shows can continue and continue getting good results the longer it goes. Not many shows. There are, of course, a few standout ones. Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, Kingdom is even one of them, so on, so on and so forth. But it's very rare for a show to get three seasons. Let alone seasons that are so good every single time and they just keep on getting better the other oddity one that i don't think many shows will ever hit is that the show is better than the original source material and you can quote me on that the humor in this beats the original in the manga form the visual comedy is just that good and it translates much better on an actual animated medium and it's it's great i absolutely love the show i've i'm completely caught up there's a lot of things going on in this in the where it's currently at in the manga um and i know some people have uh expressed that they don't like seeing show uh, reactors of things that they've already seen like for example i've seen this and now some people are like oh why do i want to watch this reactor to. I watch this because, one, I want to see what it looks like animated. Me seeing this animated, that's a first for me. Do I know the original source material? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Does it detract? Not to, not to me. Not to me, at least. At least for the shows that I'm thoroughly looking forward to. Quintessential Quintuplets is the same way. Boku Ben, also the same way. This show, I know everything that's going on. I still look forward to this as much as I look forward to every new chapter release. Just how it is. Will it be bombastic? Will it be laughing? I don't think so. I have company over, so I'm trying not to, you know, be super loud. But if I'm laughing, I'm laughing. I'm having a good time. I'm going to jump into this. This season, I think, is going to end off on a very high note for a lot of people who have been looking forward to things happening. Um, With... A lot of characters. A lot of characters are going to get beat, delved, delved more into, more fleshed out. I'm hoping this is the season. I don't know how it's going to end, but we'll see judging by the base of how the series goes. But I'm ready to jump into this episode, so without further ado, let's jump in to episode one of the third season of Kaguya-sama. Starting in three, two, one. Let's jam. Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's how it season two ended. <laughs> oh, suffering. You're hold on. Sorry, I just need to turn down just a little bit. I just love how over the top this is. Continue. <laughs> and it is good to be back. Oh, opening? No, not yet. Okay. I haven't heard I haven't touched the opening. I haven't heard the opening. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, Eno. I really enjoy how they handle her character later on. Just trying to see what apps they have.
<laughs> That's what she's listening to. Oh, the good old days when people used to have headphones. I mean, some people still do. I prefer wireless. It helps with work and working out. I do work out. Shut up. I've actually never done that. I I wonder if listening to ambient noises. That is not ambient noise, at least not to me. But I wonder how good that would actually affect. <laughs> hey, don't judge. It's current year. <laughs> Sorry, just fixing my hat real quick. I'll take your entire stock. If that's what you want to call it, go for it. I love how it's shining on the actual Jack. He's trying to protect you. Although, I wonder how Subject F would actually handle this. She tends to wear her hair on her sleeve a little bit. Yes. And I love how they're still constantly showing that it's still just slightly off. Y you know, you just... You have to knock on wood. <laughs> yes. I mean, you jinxed it. Then you play it off. You just play it off. Oh no, what are you going to listen to? Oh no. Is, this, is it like some visual novel? Why does that sound so familiar? Why does Melway Melway Kuhn? <laughs> Girl. Ishigami is great, though. He's a great character. <laughs> Did 
it matter? But they mean you. What the fuck? Who the, who the fuck says that? Yeah, he tried. <laughs> Even, you know, just like, uh, nothing happened. Ishigami, going home to die. <laughs> Yep. Oh my god, Hayasaka. Will anyone disagree with me? Like, legitimately. Can anyone, like, legitimately come look at me and be like, yeah, Hayasaka's not best girl? I know one person would say that, and that's LAR Games. Because they like Shinomiya. But. And yes, she is one of those types. But no, Hayasaka. Best girl. <laughs> I know some people who turn them off specifically to prevent that. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm horrible at responding. You can even ask my girlfriend or my family. I'm horrendous at replying. Hey, what's up, Kay? <laughs> Between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> it's oh no. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ishigami. Meanwhile, Ishigami, or not Ishigami, sorry, um, Miyuki Shiroka. I love how she just, you know, doing stretches in the background, in the background, and... <laughs> She lied as naturally as she breathed. <laughs> they just show that little clip. That's what makes this show so damn good. The the addition. He pinned it together. So now I'll have the turns tabled. <laughs> Oh no, yeah, but that's one thing that I absolutely love about Kaguya-sama, the that show. They tend to add little, small little snippets just to add to the joke. They never really did that in the in the series. <laughs> I love how Kay is just constantly peeping in. Emailing. Yep. 
Yes, that's true. <laughs> Please don't leave me on red. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Hayasaka. I just feel like Ayasaka just totally just listening in. The music. <laughs> Smart. Osaka. <laughs> Rest in peace, man. Just Discord's pretty good. I don't know if they were actually going to talk about Discord, but they did. Damn. But he's got a point. And now she's got a point. Damn. Oh, you done fucked up, you challenger. She's just gonna be. Never mind. No. Those are some fighting words, man. Yeah, but I have good wrist control. I can be taken slightly off. Out of context. Arm wrestling. I don't remember this one. I don't remember much of this. <laughs> you know, it's totally in on it. Just totally in for it. It'll prove my manhood. Um. Pues it.
Hmm. <laughs> you know, just in the background, just not listening to any of it. I need her. She just because she she knows. That's true. Have you? Th <laughs> See, because, because of the opening. That's actually amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Okay. Watch, he's gonna lose. <laughs> Just like some fighting game. But it's subject F. You can never count out subject F. She's totally staring at the... <laughs> Finally, a worthy opponent. Our battle shall be legendary. <laughs> the top... Ah, okay, okay, I thought. <laughs> it's subject F. She's a p daughter of a politician. What do you expect? <laughs> I remember that exact face. Rules. <laughs> I love this. This is amazing. No matter who loses, we all win at the end. Technically, Shinomiya should win just due to the whole bow thing. Did, did, she, did she? Oh, okay. Is this a Dragon Ball Z Super reference? I I didn't watch Super, but this kind of looks like a one of the. <laughs> that's not the only thing that's growing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But in reality... <laughs> Neither did she... Neither did she regane. Is she like grabbing her hand just so to, to keep maintain the facade? I think that's what it is. Oh no. Rest in peace. You get used to it, trust me. So, are we gonna see the last place? Awesome. 
Please don't. Princess Muscle. Onikai Muscle. That's a bad time to wriggle that way, Bruce, with the reflection. Oh, it's too far. That's too fast. Please do an Onikai Muscle. Please. I will laugh. I know. I don't think it's the same. Uh, I, I love how it, like, the quality just went, like... I love how the quality just like, dropped with this. Almost like it's an older show. <laughs> so in the end, she won, but in reality, she really did lose. <laughs> oh, then are they even gonna show... Oh, opening. Fucking subject up. I'm so glad they use the same artist for both. And then this one too. Ooh. Are we gonna get this? Uh, there's a couple. There's a certain chapter dedicated to Miyuki's dad. Well, it's a g gag comic or uh, gag chapter. I really am hoping. This is actually the really cool visuals. Uh, the visuals on this are actually phenomenal. The visuals are probably the best out of all of them. Yo, that was a really good opening. Great. Okay. I had a lot of fun this episode. Very fun. Absolutely hilarious. But yeah, no, no. Totally, um... Thoroughly enjoyed... Sorry. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Absolutely hilarious. Oh, man. I... I, I'll say it again and again. The comedy visual, the visual com um, comedy is phenomenal. To this day, I have not seen a show with this much comedy thrown in that was never originally in the source material. A lot of things. The muscle scene, I don't remember this. I don't even remember the arm wrestling. I'm sure it was it was like a chapter, but. I don't remember a lot of this. So it could have been like a lot of this was added in and it just worked. Yep, great, phenomenal episode. Hilarious. Was laughing throughout the entirety of it. I thought the opening was great. Phenomenal opening. In terms of visuals, I, I'm going to go watch that again on YouTube because I'm sure it's up. But the visuals on that opening was through the roof. Could not believe the how clean it was. How When she was when you saw Kaguya Sam running... Phenomenal. But yeah. Alright, I'm gonna hurry up and get this video up. Uh, I'm a little bit later than normal. I'm normally off from Fridays. I didn't... I thought, honestly thought this was dropping on Saturday with Spy X Family. Did not know it was dropping today. Um, so now that I know, I'm gonna go try to work around my schedule a little bit more. Because again, I have company over. Try not to be too loud because other people are working. So, yeah. Um... Usually it takes me a couple of weeks just to get into the whole groove of things and figuring out what time is best. Um, but speaking of Spy X Family, it drops 8.30 Pacific Standard Time in the morning. I'm only halfway through my shift at that time. So 
reactions are going to be late for Spike's family. Just a heads up. But yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of this phenomenal episode. I think every episode is a banger. Just to be fair. I, I don't think there's going to be a single episode where I'm like, eh, this sucks. No. What did you guys think? Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. And, uh, yeah. What also? What other shows are you guys watching? What shows should I keep my eye on? In terms of reactions, again, it's going to be hard. I'm still trying to get back into the swing of things. But, yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Spike's Family whenever I can get that recorded. But, anyways, have a good one. See ya.